death. Black death, the bubonic plague, or as we call the blue sickness, as the medieval people called it in the medi medieval ages, was an extremely dangerous and highly contagious disease. Medical historians identified that the Black Death was caused by an infectious disease called by the bacteria Mersinia pestis. Black Death was also known as the world's second pandemic that occurred in plague history. What caused the Black Death? Black Death was caused by a bacterium called Yersinia pestis, as we know, which often infects small rodents such as rats, mice, and prairie dogs. Fleas can transmit diseases from larger mammals and humans, while the disease spreads every moment an infected animal bites a healthy animal, causing a chain of multiple infections. How deadly was it? Black Death was one of the most fatal pandemics in human history, causing a quick death that involves bleeding. By the mid-1400s, Black Death caused 25 million lives, uh, uh, 25 million deaths, which is almost a third of Europe's continent's population. In total, the plague may have reduced the population at that time, which was an estimated 475 million to 350 to 375 million lives. What were the symptoms? Black Death had three main plague types involving it, including bubonic, the most common, septicemic, and pneumonic. These three plague types were very deadly and highly dangerous due to how they were as deadly as each other. Some of the main symptoms of the bubonic plague include swollen lip nodes, aka bubos, which develop in the first week you are infected, which appear in the which appear in the groin, and are about half the size of a chicken egg, and are soft but firm. Other symptoms include sudden chills or fever, headache, fatigue or muscle aches, and septicemic plague occurs when bad bacteria multiply in your bloodstream, and the symptoms include fever and chills, weakness, abdominal pain, diarrhea and vomiting, bleeding, shock and death, and tissue, blackening and extremities, and lastly, pneumonic plague, which, aff <clears throat> which affects the lungs and is the rarest, but most deadly type of plague. The symptoms include in this plague are cough with bloody mucus, difficulty breathing, nausea and, nausea and vomiting, headache, weakness and, and weakness, and chest pain. How does the Black Death kill? Black Death, as we know, it started from animals contracting it, passing it on to humans. It killed people due to the result of a patient not being treated, which then resulted in a person's death. It was hard to detect, and it killed many people uh, quickly, ranging to one to three days tops. So the first day, uh, you could be pretty normal, happy, or you could be this if you're infected really fast. This is the second day, you'll start getting some spots in your skin, and the third day is when you go crazy and you you might die, basically. So then, um, whoops. So with survivors finding out too late that they had, uh, wait, no. One to three day tops with survivors finding out they, they were too late that they had it. The virus, if you still haven't remembered, which was Yersinia pestis, had killed off victims by blocking off the cells that fought off infections, making their body helpless and too weak to fight off the infection. How did people think the disease was caused? Many, pe many people during that time thought that the disease, plague, was caused by acrid air, also known as contaminated air. Some people thought it, uh, thought it was caused by something else, like punishment from God, or even other religions that had an evilly planned to poison the drinking water, which some people suspected the Jews to have done it, and put, it all, the, put all the blame on them. After they, kill, after, they killed off a whole group of Jews in Europe, which of course didn't help. It was common for Jews to be blamed for a crime and trouble as they were outcasts from Christian society and didn't fit in. What is the plague doctor? Plague doctors, the plague doctors, also known for their cool looking mask thingies, were the ones that helped and cheated the sick during the bubonic plague. They were physicians that were specifically hired by towns to treat the plague where the disease was taken hold of. Since the city was paying them a salary, they treated both wealthy and poor. Why did plague doctors wear beak-like masks? The reason why plague doctors had beak-shaped masks was because French medical doctor Delorme thought that beak-shaped masks would give the air, air enough time to be suffused by protective herbs before it hit the doctor's nostrils and lungs. How did the plague end? In 1666, the fire of London destroyed much of, much of the center of London. It helped to kill off some of the black rats and fleas that carried the plague. 
as there was no cure for it, the plague had, uh, the plague, uh, as there was no cure for the plague, it happened to be, it happened to be that the fire in London saved us all from the end of humanity. Mo the most popular theory is it ended by the implementation of quarantines. People could only leave their homes when it was necessary. There are many theories on how the plague, the plague ended. A theory tells us that a, uh, a pathogen, or pathogen, kills all of its victims till it eventually runs out of victims, leading to its own extinction. Though after all these events, the disease still ceases to exist, uh, still ceases to exist to this day. Only as long as you don't get in any contact of the infected animals, you will be safe from the disease. Thank you for watching and listening. Here are my sources.